Hello guys, welcome to my new course Ajax for Beginners In this course I will teach you how does work it practically right and the usage of Ajax with different ways Before working on Ajax we must know what is Ajax Basically Ajax is a set of web development techniques using many web technologies on the client side to create a cyclonance web applications now the using ajax you can do that update a web page without reloading the page request data from a server after the page has loaded receive data from a server after the page has loaded send it to a server in a background right now the next thing we need to know how does work it how ajax work it so first of all you need to create an object of xml http request and send a request using http request into server the server process http request and create a response and send a back send a data back to the browser and you will use javascript to get the data from server without refreshing a web page this is very simple process to working process in ajax i will teach you practically how does work it i go to my code editor inside that have a folder named ajax in this folder here are two files one is html and second one is .txt in the txt file have some text and inside the html file have a basic syntax of html i will use ajax to display the this file text on the browser without reloading the page and i will teach you many other properties which you use to display the data file without reloading the page Okay guys so first of all we must be create a button to generate the event so i call button and i enter the button name assign the id like data then i call script tag inside that you need to generate the event i call generate event how you can do that just uh, need to use document dot get element by id and pass the data id then you need to use dot add event listener inside that you need to use parentheses inside the parentheses you need to pass two parameter the first one is event name second one is function name which will use with on click or any event for example I want to use on click event so I use single quotation and click then I use a comma my fun this is my function name okay I will create a function with the name of my fun then I call function my fun parenthesis is bracket inside that I will just use to document dot write to check the event working or not okay Save that and then open the browser, refer the page and call send. The event is working fine. Okay. Now the next thing is inside this function I remove the document.get element by id uh, sorry document dot write line. First of all you need to create a object of XML HTTP request and assign the object into variable then you will use variable to use xml ht request properties so i call where and call xhr this is a my variable name call new and call xml http request parenthesis after creating an object then you will use this variable xhr to use the many properties after creating an object and then I call console dot log 
and call xhr I will show you some properties some properties of XML HTTP request save that and then open the browser after the page and I press F12 this is a console screen I press button and as you can see HTTP request inside that have a many properties like on board on error on load on load and and many other properties and already is dead status timeout and many other properties available in this video I will use on load property okay to display the text on the browser without reloading the page so I go to my code editor and I remove the console.log then I call property name xhr dot open parenthesis inside that you need to pass three parameter the first one is which method you want to use I call get method and pass URL or page name I want to display that file text so the file text name is demo.txt as you can see demo.txt I want to display the text inside the demo.txt file then the third is you need to use true okay once you do that then you need to call xhr dot onload equal to function parenthesis is bracket inside that you need to check if your status is uh, okay then display the text otherwise you can use else statement and display anything else as you like so I will show you some I call 200 okay 200 means okay and 404 means not found okay not found and also 403 is uh, basically forbidden error okay for error okay so inside this I call if statement and check this okay you can also use xhr dot status equal to 200 200 means okay the complete process is okay then I call document dot white parenthesis this dot response text response text if our complete request is com I mean okay then I want to display the text which available in the demo.txt file save that and then open the browser for the page first I click on okay I click it I can't see anything else one more thing we need to do after the xhr script record you need to use xhr dot send parenthesis and refresh it click on that as you can see guys okay and I go to back and click on that and I want to remove the uh, I mean change the file extension okay and click to refresh send data and as you can see the error number is 404 it means not found okay not found error right now you can also use else statement for example if we, this file is uh, not available inside the uh, xhr.open then I want to display the message while file not found please check your page or file name save that and then open the browser refer the page I click on that okay this is a very simple way to use uh, on load property okay I use same text save that and then open the browser refer the page right 
now I want to use uh, the complete address of this process so I remove that and I call response URL save that and then open the browser for the page here the complete address of this file localhost hx demo.txt okay if this file is not correct then you will see the problem okay now this is very simple way to use onload property inside the XML HTTP request so I use same file name right you can also use the uh, display text on the same page so in situation I will uh, write that div first I call div and assign the ID for example display okay then I want to display the text on the same page so I comment that okay and I call document dot get element by ID parenthesis square brackets sorry parenthesis single quotation inside that you need to call display ID this ID right then you need to write dot sign in a HTML and equal to XHR object name dot response text terminal design save that and then open the browser refer the page right the same page without refreshing a page okay now once you do that then I will teach you uh, on ready state change okay so I create another file first I save this file create another file and paste the basically comment and I will teach you just a minute I call on ready dot HTML and I use uh, basic syntax of HTML and I use on ready on ready state changes I call on ready state change okay and the on ready state change have uh, basically in the numbers uh, 0 have a request not initialized number 1 so a connection established number 2 request received number 3 processing request and number 4 is request finished and response is ready in the on load have a uh, basically 200 right it means ok in the on ready have a uh, number 4 to uh, display the response ok how you can use on ready property so I copy the whole code ok copy the whole code the whole code and paste here and I remove the onload function right the same button same uh, div and same function just uh, call xhr open get demo dot txt right then I call xhr dot on ready state changes equal to function parenthesis script breaker inside that you need to call if xhr dot on ready okay equal to 4 okay 4 means request finished and response is ready and you need to call and sign and call xhr dot status equal to 200 then come into the if body and I want to display the text and the same page so I call in a HTML equal to XHR dot response text right save that and open the browser and call localhost Ajax and on ready click that nothing happen on this page just a minute mm, just a minute okay okay just a minute I call ready state okay save that and open the browser for the page 
as you can see guys right the page text available on this page okay now what is different between already state change and the uh, on load first we will discuss uh, on load okay so I go to code editor and I go to on load file and first I command the text response okay and then before function on load I call console.log and pass xhr save that and open the browser and refer the page and press F12 and I press send I clicked on the button then you are able to see ready state number one right ready state number one I copy that and paste before check the status of XHR object and go to browser refresh that and press send and the starting number is number one and directly jumped in the number four right in the on load property but I go to my on ready state change and I go to code editor and I go to file like uh, on ready and I call console.log pass xhr this is the on ready file right copy that and paste here two times the first is uh, check the already state status and before checking the status or uh, ready state number I call console.log okay go to and also I need to command that okay basically I want to display the status press F12 and I press send data now the already state change have one number one number two number three number four it means those are series wise number and the series wise number have a in the number one have a server connection established number two request received number three processing request number four is request finished and response is ready this is the difference between the on load and on ready in the on load have only one number and directly jumped on number four okay in the on ready have a one two three four it means this will work i mean it will work with step by step number one number two number three number four this is the difference between already state change and also series wise okay guys so this is a very simple way to use um, already state change and there are many other properties available on the XHR object so I will teach you step by step how does work it okay guys so after using basic way to display the text on the browser without refreshing a page using JavaScript right and also object of XML HTTP request now I will use jQuery to perform the another task with the help of jQuery and also PHP I will use jQuery and PHP so I need to download uh, the bootstrap and also jQuery I will use bootstrap classes to design the registration form and I will use Ajax with the help of jQuery so we need to download library of jQuery so I go to my browser and I search bootstrap open the first link and click to download and download and select your location or path I select C XAMPP mm, docs ajax inside that save start open the folder right click it and extract the files delete that delete no I do not delete I just delete the files okay and I go to CSS folder I delete the all files without bootstrap 
dot css file right two folders available css and js now i need to download jquery so i write jquery okay just write jquery and open the first link and click to download jquery and download the compressed version because the compressed version size is too small okay I click on that copy the all files right all files select all copy and go to code editor and inside the JS folder you need to create a file write the any name as you like I write jquery.js paste the code save that right close that now the next thing is go to the CSS folder and inside the CSS folder have a bootstrap.css file now we have successfully downloaded the CSS file bootstrap CSS file and also JavaScript jQuery file now the next step is you need to create a PHP file so I go to new tab press ctrl s and write the file name index.php and write the basic syntax of html right i write the registration file we need to include the css file so i need to use link relation the folder name css inside that you need to write bootstrap.css okay now we need to include the jquery.js file so I include jqjs file source src js style I mean backslash jqjs right this is a my jq file we need to include another file before including another file you need to create a file so I will use jQuery on the uh, new file so you can write jQuery inside this file but I will use jQuery and other files so inside the JS folder I create a file manual JS I just write the my JS dot JS this is a blank JS file I will write jQuery uh, code inside this file so I go to index.php inside that you need to use script src js folder inside js folder have uh, two files one jQuery.js and second one is a myjs.js file right now we need to design the registration file so I write there class container and div class row inside the row you need to design call lg6 margin r2 inside that you need to write there class card card title and of this div you need to write the class card body let's check it so that open the browser write the local host select ajax select input index.php index.php where is the form okay this is a very simple form I write the h4 sign up form registration form file user save and let's check it right and I use uh, I use class bg dog text white text sender 
Insert that and refer that, right? Pairing top bottom three. Okay. Okay. Now we need to design. I will use a uh, class BG dog. Okay. And I change the background color. Mm, success. Prime is best, I think. Okay, that's great. Okay, I need to use margin top five. Okay. And also, I need to use margin top five inside the cart. Okay. Now, inside the cord body, I will design the form. So, I use form. I do not assign the action. Okay. And inside that, you need to define the input. And also, you need to define the name. For example, I use name. And uh, I need to assign the ID. ID is very important. But I think I will tell you a basic way to use PHP, right? So I assign the name and assign the class form control. Okay, copy that, paste here, and I change the email. And farm control, and I need to use margin top bottom two. One more thing we need to do is button submit and class btn bt and success. Save that. Open the browser for the page. Okay, but we need to assign the margin. And bottom two. That's say okay. I will use another attribute like a placeholder. Username. Copy that and paste here. Save that and open the browser for the page. Okay. Username and also user email. Okay, guys. This is our simple form and this is a complete bootstrap classes and basic way to design the registration form using bootstrap classes and also HTML now I will use this form to perform the a different task like display the data on the browser using PHP basic way I do not assign or use the Ajax or jQuery so I use simple action which action you want to assign on here for example do you want to use php on this page you need to write has sign or write the same file name okay now i will use php with another page like process.php i will create a process.php page now you need to define the method which method you want to use there are two main methods first one is post second one is get post is a very important for security purpose and get is a not for secure okay so i use simple post this is a complete course available on my youtube channel you can watch complete that then you will understand php okay so I use action process dot php method post and I have assigned the name name and email. I will use this name and email to get the each input text field data and I am able to display that data on the browser so guys we need to create this file process dot php copy that and press control and save process.php file inside that you need to write basic syntax of php and i will use simple function if set dollar underscore post i have used post method right then we need to define the name in the button 
and also we need to define the type type is button okay and you need to define the name name is very important for getting a data from input text field okay and then you will use them to display that record on the browser so I copy that and go to PHP paste here if anyone user click on the submit button then who will come into the if body I mean the code will come into the if body and I use dollar underscore username I create a variable and I will get the record from first input text field the first input text field name is name and second input text field name is email this is a normal PHP okay I have used normal PHP okay then I just write the equal statement and call your name is concatenation sign this variable okay terminal sign copy that paste here your email is user email your email and I use echo and PR tag basically guys I have used simple PHP to get the data from input text fields and display the record in the browser I do not use uh, AJAX, JS, uh, JavaScript or jQuery for AJAX or without refreshing a page I have only used PHP I just tell you how you can use PHP okay save that and open the browser for the page and I use asif this is my email okay just a minute okay I copy that sometime the Google Chrome providing an issue so I will go to Firefox okay guys sometime I have faced many problem on the Google Chrome so I use uh, Firefox and I use same file localhost ajax index.php then you need to wait a couple of seconds to open that file on the browser okay just a minute let's check the again code process.php Okay. process.php method post dollar mm, underscore post everything is perfect okay where is a uh, okay this is a uh, firefox okay I use name asif and email email I use ml uh, admin at the online attitudes.com click submit what happened what happened on oh, here just a minute guys uh, name email username form control everything is perfect submit and set dollar underscore post submit I use else statement let's try it problem I just write problem okay then browser just a minute mm, what is problem now you guys up in Google Chrome I think something is wrong index.php
okay everything is perfect just a minute I check it guys just a minute okay guys uh, okay I I remove that basically this is a type of the button I just write the name okay I just assign the name of the button and I go to Google Chrome browser and refer that and I use it's working fine right the problem is I have assigned the type of the button okay so as you can see guys the your name is asif your email is asif web developer at hotmail.com it means I have received data from input text field and I have displayed I have seen the record in the browser with another page like process.php this this time the file name is index.php after submitting the button then you will redirect with another page with the name of process.php right this is a very simple way to use php okay now i will use jquery to get the record from first and second input text field without refreshing a page and the display the record on the browser using PHP it means I will use jQuery and PHP to display the record on the browser without refreshing a page okay now guys I will use um, Ajax um, I mean I will use jQuery to get the record from input text field and I will use PHP to display the record on the browser so I go to my index.php file this is a normal form PHP form I write the comment normal PHP okay and I copy that and paste it copy that and paste it I write ajax with php right and I comment that I comment that okay now the ajax with php I remove that I don't need that okay this is a simple form and I also remove that remove that right I do not use name okay but you need to assign the ID you will get the record with the help of ID okay ID email ID user okay one more thing we need to do is I need to use type button okay and also you need to remove the summit button okay this is a very simple form type text text I use email okay text email button and you need to assign the ID with the input text field one and second okay once you do that then go to my js dot js file and first I use dollar sign and use document after the parenthesis you need to write the ready parenthesis function if our document is ready then come into the function body this is a function body inside the function body I will generate the event with on click okay first I check it okay I need to assign the ID with button okay btn I just assign the name btn okay now I go to my js dot js file and I assign the dollar double quotation I have assigned the ID in the button so you need to write the hash sign and button name the button name is btn dot click if 
and when user click on the button then come into the function like this okay what is problem uh, dollar button just a minute mm, just to save that just a minute just a minute uh, button click function function okay if anyone user click on the button then I just check it okay I just check it working okay save that and then open the browser refer the page index.php working okay it means jQuery is working fine okay so I will get the first and second input text fields value and then I will assign the value in the variables in the JavaScript jQuery you need to assign the value in the variable you need to write the keyword well and assign the name for example I assign the name user then use dollar parenthesis and then um, double quotation has signed the first input text field name the first input text field name is name and you need to use well parenthesis terminator sign I will show you guys just a minute so the user the first input text field name is user then anyone user enter the value in the first input text field then the value will assign in the user variable so you need to use same process I use email dot well after getting the first and second input text fields value and I and assign the value in the variables then you will use this variable and this variable to display the data on the browser let's check I check alert your name is name name okay and I use concatenation sign double quotation space concatenation sign double quotation your email is concatenation sign second variable let's check it save that and I use as if admin at the right online attitude uh, your name is and your email is undefined what is the problem now okay use high sign okay and user dot well let's check it id user mm, okay everything is perfect i change the name username Save that and then open the browser. Refer the page. Sif admin. Why I can't see the first and second input text fields data on the browser or on the copy that just a minute paste refresh that so add minute okay guys your name is asif uh, your email is admin at the red online attitudes dot com I refer that I assign the asif I just write the programmer admin at the red online attitudes dot com submit your name is programmer your email is online attitudes.com okay I do not use PHP I just use jQuery and um, HTML 
to get the record from HTML input text field and display the record on the browser right this is very simple way to use jQuery now I want to use PHP okay I want to use PHP to display the record on the browser without refreshing the page so first of all you need to remove that right you need to get the first and second input text field record and assign the record in the variable then you need to use method which method you want to use I use dollar dot post parenthesis you need to pass three parameters the first one is which file are part of the file for example I want to use PHP with process.php file on this file okay or I will send a request with this file so I need to use double quotation and the basically the file name process.php then you need to use comma script bracket in the script bracket you need to pass two variables like first and second so I need to assign the name first I use for example name colon then you need to define or assign this variable on it then you will use this name and the PHP to get the record with input text field okay so I use comma and the second one is email column I just write the U email this is a my name and assign this email okay now third one is you need to write the function parenthesis is clip bracket inside that you need to pass two parameters first one is no I just write the first parameter okay now the next thing I want to display the record on the alert first I use alert then I will use uh, HTML uh, div to display the record on the same page okay so I call for example data this only this parameter just pass this parameter then you need to go on the process.php file and you don't need to use uh, the this way okay you just get the name and email with the help of uname and uml okay and you will use echo statement to display the record okay so I go to my jQuery.js file or my js.js file and I use dollar underscore uh, I mean if set dollar underscore post I have used post method as you can see post method anyone use uh, uh, I mean the post method is active then come into the script bracket and in the script bracket I call the I just write the button mm, okay I use the first I check it guys just a minute mm, okay I pass this variable name and I use R is set dollar underscore post the second variable like this UML paste here, right once you do that then remove that okay remove that just call remove also that just call dollar underscore post name and dollar underscore post you can also use the variable but I just use the 
talent score post and uh, the this name and also this name okay you email okay save that and then open the browser and refresh the page and I click on the OSIF admin at the online attitudes.com as you can see guys your name is asif your email is admin at the right online attitudes.com right i refer that and i once again i use your email is oh sorry your name is programmer your email is admin at the right online attitudes.com but i have seen the message like this okay I want to display the record in the same input text field I mean I'm I mean in the same page after this form okay I write the div and assign the ID for example message okay and I go to my js.js file inside the alert I use dollar and the here sign message dot HTML okay and then you need to use the parenthesis and pass this data this you can write any name on here and just to pass the same name on here right save that and first I assign the name I mean class text white text sender okay save that and then open the browser refer the page oh I need to remove the text white okay just text sender I write the first I refer the page and I write the name programmers I click on submit okay your name is Asif your email is programmer Asif now guys you have seen no page reload okay I go again programmer Asif programmer your email is Asif for example I remove the where is the process I remove that let's just I roll email okay mm, okay just a minute refer that as if programmer at gmail.com as you can see guys I do not refer the page I have used only jQuery to send the request in the process.php page in the process.php page I just check the if is set it means the name and you email is active then come into the if body in the if body I have just called echo statement to display the name input text field data and second I mean you email input text field data on the browser in the jQuery I just get the data from first and second input text field with the help of ID as you can see user ID user email right once you do that then you need to use the method okay dollar underscore post and first you need to assign the path I mean you need to send the request I have sent the request with the process.php page then you need to use script bracket in the script bracket you need to pass the parameters are assign the name in the variables and assign the for example variable in the name okay then you need to use same name like name uml in the php to check the uh, empty fields and display the record on the browser okay you can use another method like ajax to perform the same method like I comment first I comment that 
okay just a minute I come in there then I just call dollar dot hx parenthesis inside that you need to write script bracket inside the script bracket you need to pass the parameters for example um, I write type which type you want to use I use post comma right then which page you want to use I mean which page to send the request for example I want to send the request in process.php page so I use URL colon process.php page right comma then you need to pass the parameters like uh, get the value from variables and assign the variable and the variables like uh, I use data mm, just uh, data colon script bracket inside that you need to write any name for example I use u name colon and assign this variable the first input text value will get and assign the value in the variable like username and I assign this variable in the uname I will use uname in PHP to get the data from first input text field then I use comma use some process use any name I call you email colon and assign the email variable that's it comma then finally you need to write success if your all condition is success then call this function and pass the parameter like data you can write any name inside that I call dollar dot dollar parenthesis comma and message ID this ID okay copy that paste here if our all condition is perfect then I want to use display the message in the HTML patch finally I need to use terminator sign save that and open the browser refresh patch and write name file them asif programmer at gmail.com submit that the error is user line number five okay the email has been received but I can't see the username let's see the line number five which patch okay okay one more thing we need to do guys I need to use process.php page inside that we need to use change the username and email also so the username copy uname and go to this page and this page save that and I think everything is perfect it should work fine I use programmer at gmail.com hit enter as you can see guys without refreshing a page we have received username and email without refreshing the page right guys now finally I will use same process and store the data in the database without refreshing the page right so first of all I need to go on localhost PHP my admin I will create a database and also table to store the record in the database just a minute to open the MySQL okay I go to databases I use um, testing this is my database name create I need to create a three rows and testing Ajax demo 
are white i think uh, ajax demo or table has created so i need to use uh, another name like um, user underscore record user record right mm, that first is id second is username third is user email the first is type integer second type integer or oh, sorry watch out watch out. type of range second third and i assign the id number value of the line return key man okay and finally i need to use set okay guys so we have successfully my database and also table we need to use this database like a testing and a user underscore record table to store the record in the database without refreshing a page so first of all I go to this page inside that you need to write the connection okay uh, I write my SQL I underscore connect first I create a variable con my SQL I connect pass three parameters local host root third one is blank this is a password fourth one is your database name my database name is testing right 10 minute assign then the next thing is you need to use uh, cut that and write the query I call query variable and I use answer and to your table name is user I think I check it guys just a minute user record this is my table name okay parenthesis inside that you need to pass the column names the first column name is ID second one is user I check it guys just a minute username okay username third one is user email okay and use values parentheses single quotation inside that you need to use first I get the user dollar underscore post uname I will get the data from input text field and assign the data in the user variable okay email post email okay sorry you email right once you do that then you need to use this and this variable to store the record in the variable in the database so I copy that and paste here comma use again double comma copy that and paste here right terminal assign then I use result variable and call my skill I query pass two parameter first one is your connection variable second one is your query then I call if our complete process is correct then I call result variable and come into the if body and display the message your record has been okay otherwise you need to go copy that and paste here please please check your query I do not use an other method I just call the same jQuery where like Ajax dollar underscore ajax and the same method like post process dot php and i use same process like the username i mean uname and assign the username value in the uname i call this uname and also uml to get the 
record from input text field and assign the value in the username I mean user and user email I pass this I mean those values those variable and the uh, query variable to store the record in the database so let's check it guys first I refresh that and I'll use sif programmer at the gmail.com hit enter your card has been saved let's check it as you can see guys my ID number one username is Asif username user email a programmer at gmail let's try again another call for example I use Kami 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 by at gmail.com hit enter your record has been set let's check it Kami okay everything is perfect guys so this is a very simple way to use Ajax to store the record in the database without refreshing the page and I have used different way to use Ajax using jQuery and mostly jQuery used in the PH programming language so guys I hope you are understood everything is jQuery and I hope you will do that everything step by step so thank you very much for watching please subscribe my channel for getting updates have a nice day guys